Hello everyone, I'm Kogi from Kogi.in and you're watching this review of Meizu MX5. This handset is using the MediaTek Helio X10 octa-core processor, 64-bit and it's running Android Lollipop with 3GB RAM and 16GB of internal storage space. Key highlight about the Meizu MX5 is 20.7 megapixel camera on the rear, AMOLED screen and a fingerprint scanner on the front, Touch ID based. Here is the box pack and the MX5 comes nicely packed. The key features are clearly mentioned here and this is the MX5. This hunter is currently priced at Rs 17,999. Inside the box you'll find the user guide, warranty card, SIM tray ejector pin, data cable and travel charger. This is 5V 2A. Earphone is not included. MX5 sports a 5.5 inch AMOLED screen with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection and supporting 1080p resolution. MX5 is using an all-metal aluminium body, CNC crafted that looks really great, build quality and the finishing is very good. It's with a silver matte finish and shiny silver borders on the top. The handset is comfortable to hold and does give a very good grip. The Meizu logo on the rear side with shiny silver line on the top as well as bottom along with darker shades on the top as well as bottom. The ports have got plastic coating, power button and volume rocker are placed on the right side, SIM tray on the left, audio jack along with secondary mic on the top and at the bottom you'll find the primary microphone, micro USB port and speaker out vent. This is the 20.7 megapixel autofocus camera on the rear with dual tone LED flash and with laser assist autofocus. The handset has got a curvy design and the camera module is slightly out. This is a dual sim handset, you can use two nano sims, there is no micro SD card support. Weight with battery is 149 grams and the handset is 7.62 mm thick. It is running Flyme OS 4.5 out of the box, touch is smooth and responsive, color reproduction is pretty good. There is a single button for navigation, for example you can tap it once to go back and press it to go to the home screen. There are no buttons on the right or left only a single button in the center and this button also doubles up as the fingerprint scanner there are two ways to unlock using fingerprint press power button and then place your finger on the fingerprint scanner or directly press the home button and just wait for a few seconds this is a better option just place your finger on the fingerprint scanner and just wait for a few seconds as you can see fingerprint accuracy and detection is pretty good and fast SIM slot 1 supports 4G and SIM slot 2 also supports 4G. You can use 4G on any of these SIM slot. I'm using 2300 band and it's working. The interface is a bit different but easy to use. You can also change the color temperature as per your need. By default, the handset is set to the balance mode and I'm going to use it in that mode. There's built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. Off-screen gestures are supported. For example, you can double tap to wake up the screen and there is also the smart touch option. This handset comes with 16 GB of internal storage space and you'll get around 11 GB free space and of the 3 GB RAM you'll get around 1.1 GB free on the first boot. Swipe this way to get the list of running application in the background and tap it to switch to that particular application or you can simply drag it on the top to remove that particular application that is running in the background. OTG works, I am able to access the contents of this OTG pen drive. There is LED notification and now let's move on to the camera. Here is the camera interface. This is an autofocus camera and here are the different modes available. Auto, Manual, Beauty, Panorama, Light Field Scan, Slow Motion and Macro. HDR mode is supported and you can set the photo size to large, medium and small. Rear camera can shoot in 20.7 megapixel resolution and it can shoot 4K videos. Front camera is a 5 megapixel shooter. Here are some of the images I shot using this handset. MX5 is using laser autofocus. For more sample images and videos, do visit my website. The link is mentioned in the description section below. MX5 is using the MediaTek MT6795 2.2 GHz 64-bit octa-core processor coupled with PowerVR G6200 GPU. It's running 64-bit Flyme based on Android 5.0.1 with these sensors gyro, magnetic, accelerometer, proximity, light and hall sensors. 
Before running the benchmark application, let's have a look at the battery temperature. The battery temperature as of now is 36 degrees. Before running the benchmark application, I'm going to switch to performance mode. Quadrant benchmark score is 2336. Antutu score 64 bit for the first time was 43954. Battery temperature is at 38 degrees. Second time the score was 43118. Battery temperature is at 38 degrees. It's a bit warm on the rear side. Nina Mark 2 is at 59.5 FPS and this handset supports 10 point multi-touch. After 13 minutes, the battery dropped by 5% and the temperature is at 37 degrees. Let's play the Asphalt 8. It was set to the medium visual quality by default. I'm going to switch to high visual quality. The graphic quality is really great on the AMOLED screen and the game is playable very smooth. I played this game for about 19 minutes. Battery dropped by 9% and the temperature increased to 42 degrees. Meizu MX5 is a powerful handset that's using the latest MediaTek 64-bit octa-core processor and it's running Flyme OS 64-bit. There is 16 GB of internal storage space without external SD card support so that might be a limitation for some of the users. Overall performance is very smooth, the display quality is really good and the handset does tend to heat up with heavy usage. Camera quality is above average and the 3150 mAh battery does a pretty good job. You can expect about 4 to 5 hours of continuous moderate to heavy usage on a single charge. I'm getting battery backup of around 1.5 days with mixed usage. Meizu MX5 is a very good buy, especially at the current price tag of Rs 17,999.